Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for March 4th to the 11th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what is going on for you this week. All right. You have an interesting amulet that popped up for you this week, which is Aphrodite. And the reason why I'm saying it's interesting is because you are ruled by the planet Mars and Aphrodite is connected to the planet Venus the opposite sign of you, right? The Aries Libra access. Hello. Hi. So nice to see you. She hasn't been around for this week's readings and she is making her debut, making my way downtown. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. Hi. What's up? She come to read for Aries. They needed an important message. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, they did. Aries. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to pick their card? Are you going to read for them? Hi. <laughs> She's a void. There's a void. She's petting the void. Okay. Interesting. Also, you can't see your cards right now, but there is a lot of black in your cards. I don't think that's bad. I think a lot of it has to do with protection. I think she's coming in to give you a heads up about what's going on. Mm -hmm. There is a huge wrapping up here of a cycle. Could be with somebody uh, or it could have been around your money blocks or your money stories. Sorry. I think you, I think you, you reached your I'm done moment, the moment where everything changes, right? Or another way to say the I'm done moment. It's the moment where you declare, where you're like, I no longer want to be stuck, unhappy, miserable. Mm -mm. I want to be free. I want clarity. I want purpose. I want freedom. I want happiness. And all of that Aries, that's what you're doing this week. Right. We are getting closer and closer to summer sol or some sol spring solstice. Right. On top of that, we have the new moon in Pisces. So there's all this energy here that welcomes in transition, that welcomes in change. The four of swords in tarot is all about rest, retreating. OK, it's about taking care of your vessel, reassessing, reflecting and reviewing on what's working and what's not. And I think the more that you practice rest, which maybe might might be a little bit hard for you to do, okay? The more that you practice rest, though, the more you start seeing that you may have been looking at the three cups that are empty or the three cups that spilled instead of looking at the two cups that are still up. And the fact that you got perspective, none of this matters, zoom out, common ground, right? None of the small stuff matters. Look for common ground. Look for the higher purpose. Look for the message that Source is trying to relate to you right now. Let Source be your guide in making the decisions that you're going to be guided to make here. There's a lot of momentum and taking action at the end of this week. But you have to remember that when we choose to take action, that means we are moving from one place to another. You want freedom, you got to move from where you're at right now and go to where you're being guided to go, right? That may mean taking risks. That may mean doing something uncomfortable. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. That might mean walking away from relationships, from friendships, from people, right? The King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, right? You may have thought that stability, security, happiness, fulfillment, this wish fulfillment came from this energy of the King of Cups, right? Source is going, wrap it up, babe. Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups. Your view on money, I think, is changing a lot too. And it makes sense, you know, with the North Node in your sign, uh, if you're an Aries rising, Pisces being your um, in your 12th house, right? Um, and then Taurus being in your second house, you know, it, there's a lot of activation here that's happening as well. It depends on your astrological chart, but what I'm really seeing on a high level for all of you collectively is a reassessment of your wealth, of your money, of your potential to attract money, retain money, hold on to money. 
How many of you have money blocks right now? How many of you find yourself um, making money, but you can't seem to save it or never having enough or afraid to lose it? If any of those things sound like you, then this is a time here for you to work through your money blocks. If you took my Money Magnet workshop, you would know all about that. If you want to sign up to the pre-recorded workshop, it's in the description box below, okay? Learn your prosperity potential, release those money blocks, and activate that abundance plan. The time is now. This is the year to do it. I've been talking a lot about it. With the Page of Cups, go where you're guided to go. Source is trying to show you here a new way. I think a lot of it also has to do with your values, your relationship to self, your self-worth, your values. Again, more Taurus second house energy, right? Your material possessions, how you view yourself versus your material possessions, all that stuff. Right? Your ability to hold on to wealth, attract wealth, your relationship to wealth, like I'm not good enough to make this much money or I'm not good enough to hold on to this money or this person always takes my money away. Pay attention to those stories that are showing up for you, Aries. They're showing up for a very, very big purpose. There is something huge happening here. Romantic feelings. We're diving into your love life now, okay? Romantic feelings, past life relationship and attraction <laughs> sorry i'm still getting over this this cold two of wands romantic feelings well actually it wasn't a cold i just lost my voice romantic feelings a past life relationship the hair of font yeah look at this attraction four of swords yeah if you want something in life, whether it be a romantic relationship, money, stability, security, like whatever that thing may be for you, you have to be able to believe that you can receive it. You have to declare it as yours. You have to be committed to it. And then you have to take the action, the, the steps you're guided to take, but also recognize and realize if you're trying to attach to a specific thing versus the emotion, the feeling. What do I mean by this? If you turn around and you're like, I want to be a millionaire, but then you're like, I have to be a millionaire by running my own business. It's the only way. It's the only way. Then you are attaching to your ability and capacity to be a millionaire through your own business. You're not attaching or you're not opening yourself up to being a vessel for attracting that, um, that, ma that a massive amount of wealth, right? To be a magnet for that wealth through any other channel. Maybe sources like you're not supposed to be an entrepreneur. You're supposed to be a CEO of a company. Do you see what I'm saying? Same is for love, right? You want respectful, healthy partnership, a beautiful union, but you're attaching to this person as the one who's going to fulfill that when that's not how love works. The right person for you could be right in front of you and you're too busy trying to attach something, control something to somebody else that's not meant for you. All right. Here is your monthly video. Oh, oh, here it is. If you want to book a session with me, if you want to work with me in any capacity, set up to my money magnet workshop, soul revolution, all that jazz. It's in the description box below. Ditto to book a session with me. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out.